We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Jock, who died like a noob while trying to bite the butthole of a creeper. May he literally rest in pieces. Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is a very sad Ren Doggy Dog coming at you from the storage rooms in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were harvesting some uh, sand to make some glass to finish off the cathedral entrance of the Nether Portal Temple when a creeper blew up our first freaking doggy that we got, or the second dog I think that we got, his name was Jock, and he died while defending his master. And we all we have left is Fido and Rorschach left. And uh, we are, the, today is a sad day in the cyber dog world, man. May, uh, may Jock rest in peace, man. Oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna miss him. Um, and I think to, to fill the gap that is now in my heart, we need to make a new puppy, man. We need to, to replace Jock even though it's impossible, we need to replace Jock, and uh, we're gonna make a new puppy. There he is, and we are going to name him Jock the <laughs> Second. So welcome to the pack, Jock the Second. When you grow up a little bit uh, bigger, I will be able to give you a collar. And uh, welcome to the pack, Jock the Second. Um, your uncle died defending the mole hole, died defending the cyber dog pack. And he will forever be loved, forever be remembered for his great deeds. Oh God, the tears, the tears. Anyway, guys, <laughs> welcome back to this Let's Play Minecraft series with me, Rendog. And man, I have been spending a good amount of time sorting out my chest. You can see everything's looking a little bit neater. Well, it looks a little bit neater. I've, I've actually extended some of my storage rooms. Now this is a, a, a chest exactly for brickage. This is a chest exactly for nether bricks. And I've just been sorting out uh, my inventory slightly. And I've also been working my butt off on the cathedral uh, entrance. And I, I, I'm so excited to show you guys what has happened to the cathedral entrance. I, got, I, I was working on it off camera. I got a little bit carried away. And uh, I basically finished it, guys. <laughs> but I, I, I felt that maybe you guys had seen more than enough of um, me building the nether portal temple and the nether... Uh, and the cathedral entrance so i didn't want to make any more videos on this project but guys let me take you through what we have done are you ready kaplam oh my god look how sweet this is looking guys i've added a couple brazes here well let's start from the beginning right i completed the arches i added steps to the arches just to give them more of a um you know uh i don't know an archway type of feel i added some glowstone up there um i added some brazes into the middle here i added some steps over here to create this sort of um I think it's a quite a cool effect over here. It's kind of this overhang over the entrance to the Nether Portal Temple. I put these this little glowstone feature over here to to fill up this gap. Um, I also changed these spires over here completely, and I'm still working on them. But I I kind of changed them into what you see over here now. Now I'm going to go up my service uh, ladder up here to where I was working on all of this stuff, just so you can get a better view of everything. Um, you can see what it's looking like over here and I have now completed um, this is the look that I'm going to I'm going for on these spires if you guys remember this was actually much bigger this spire over here but it was actually way too big it was looking kind of dumb actually um, so I just changed it to, to be symmetrical with this one and now these um, these spires are literally three block by three block squares but they're not not quite squares because um, you know the corner blocks have been taken away from them and I've added some braziers to the top of these um, I, don't, I don't know what the, these are towers I guess these are like lookout towers and uh, what I want to do in this episode guys is complete these towers and what I want to do what I thought would be quite cool to to link oh, oh god um, <laughs> to, to keep the design work um, Sort of congruent throughout our world what i wanted to do is try and replicate what we did in the strip mine outpost 
with the um, the nuclear reactors. If you guys recall from ep uh, from season one, we had a sort of nuclear reactor vibe going on. And that's exactly what I want to do today. I want to get a pillar of lava flowing down the middle here, and then I'm going to make these glass walls, right? So from a distance, you will, you'll be able to see um, the lava flowing down these towers, which is really sweet. So we're going to finish that off. Then I want to get a view of the new cathedral entrance, maybe from that tree over there. Um, so we're going to go over and do that. And uh, man, I, oh, this is so freaking sweet, guys. So now you can very clearly see what I'm, what I'm talking about, right? So the next big step when we start working on the witch's cave is to excavate all of this land all the way to the mole hole over there because that's going to be the, the size of the cave. And then to make this, uh, this mountain look like it's falling over onto the temple. So we're going to have dirt and stone and all that sort of stuff sort of... Uh, avalanching over the temple on either side maybe maybe we'll even have like have one of the sides broken or something so that the dirt sort of pours into the temple just to give it that really ancient look like it's been here for ages and ages so um that is the freaking plan my friends and in this episode i want to finish off these towers and then get a really good view of the cathedral entrance um, and man i am so freaking excited um, here's the lava buckets that i want to use and also guys um, from all the glass smelting, I, I, I can't remember, I think I got six stacks of sand. I smelted them all. And as you can see, we are up to level 26, which is just freaking sweet. We got four more levels to go before we can enchant another book and see if we can get a fortune uh, enchant on that. A lot of you cyber dogs have been telling me that it's much easier to use the books to enchant um, already enchanted items. So Terra, for example, that I'm holding here, we will, I think we'll only need 16 uh, um, levels or so to to put fortune onto Terra, and that was a, a, a hint from one of you cyber dogs so thank you very much for that remember guys you can leave me hints and tips in the comment section below if you feel so inclined um, so this lava pillar is going to go all the way down there right and then it's going to fill up that uh, bottom area over there and it's going to kind of look like it's part of this uh, line of lava there underneath the cathedral entrance wall so that's kind of cool i think i'm i'm pretty happy with that all right that's looking pretty sweet there you can see the flow beginning uh oh man looking epics right let's finish off oh oh god we probably did this completely wrong right maybe what we should do is um maybe we should <laughs> build the glass walls first before we do any of this uh, seriously um risky jazz with lava so <laughs> i think i'm going to start from this this one because um you know the other one is a bit i think i can survive this fall right Bam! ouch broken legs Ow. um right so let's let's do this guys this is going to be freaking sweet so what i want to do is just build up the walls these glass wall thingies like this and uh we can probably do both at the same time Oi. Not unless we noob out like that. Um, oh man, such a... Oh god. Waste of glass. I need silk touch so bad on my pickaxe, guys. Um, we've been so unlucky with those really awesome enchants. We've never got a silk touch or freaking fortune or any of those really sweet enchants. It's kind of sad, man. It makes me sad, doggy. But hopefully, um, you know, now that we can enchant books, we can, we can really... Um, you know make good use of the uh, of the enchanting table and hopefully get like a better enchant at some point um or get the enchant that we want all right so let me put this down here and let's finish this off and we're going to lose a couple uh, blocks of nether here but that is okay looking good let's inject lava directly into the ass of this tower kaplayam that's looking beautiful and then we can finish it off uh, by closing up the wall just like that and that is the effect that I'm looking for. Oh man looking epic. I love it. Absolutely love it man. So we're gonna do the same on this side. Oh um, That's not good <laughs> um, Oh god, I don't have any food either. So it looks like we're gonna have to go get a bucket of water um, To deal with this goodness gracious And we need to go get some food actually um, oh man, you know what we might as well do? We might as well go, go get some potatoes because I haven't actually roasted any potatoes yet. And let me tell you, man, I freaking love roast potatoes in, in real life, that is. And uh, I am I am eager, eager. Ooh, I'm eager for some food. Oh, I've got a couple steaks here too. Um, I am really, really eager to, to get munching on some freaking roast potatoes, baby. Hello, little doggy. 
Oh, he's so cute. I think that, uh, it, it, does that sound mean that he's hungry? I think he might be hungry. Oh, let's just feed them. Eat! Eat, doggy, eat! Okay, there, we can't give him any more food. So I guess that indicates that he is all full up. We've got one more steak to munch on also. Um, sweet! Oh man, this is so sweet, guys. We are, you know, we're getting much closer to actually being able to um, move on to making Mole City and making Granny Dog's Monument. And what I thought I would do is I would actually work on the Gold Nugget Farm first before I worked on the on Mole City because without we need the gold first before we do anything else. We need to to um, we need to get a whole bunch of gold. So that is going to be the plan, guys. Right, let's kill this lava. Fire! Sweet, and all, all that happened was it turned to cobblestone, and, uh, oops. Nope! Bad lava! Bad lava! Alright, there we go, guys. Hopefully we're gonna have enough glass to finish this off. I'm, I'm so wasteful with glass, man. It's, it's just, it's frightening. I'm sure you guys are face palming all over the show, man. Like triple face palm. <laughs> you, like, slap your face with both hands at the same time. Like, it's like a high five for your face. <laughs> oh man, man, you know what? You know what my mama always used to tell me, man. She used to she used to say to me, if you can't make yourself laugh, then uh, man, you got problems. <laughs> so at least I can make myself lols. Right. Anyway, um, excellent, man. This is so sweet. I'm so happy with these towers. I think that they um, they're they're just looking absolutely epic. Right. Let's get rid of this jazz. Let's do another. Lava injection straight up into the ass. Kablam! And let's finish off the walls. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, excellent. That's is that is absolutely perfect. What I want to do now is go get a good view of this from that tree over there. Um, I see a skeleton over there though. Where where is the moon, man? Where is the moon? Has the night just begun? Oh God, the night has just begun. Well, we actually need a couple more levels, right? So, um, we might as well go get suited up. I've got Fang with me, too. Um, you can see there's Fang. I, I found him in, in one of the chests um, that we were using to make the, ne the Nether Portal Temple. He was chilling there. And we got Rambo um, to hand also. Uh, so, but we need an arrow. And let's take some of our iron armor. Let's get suited up and let's go get a better view of the, the nether portal temple and the cathedral entrance um, I don't think I'm gonna take my doggies with man. They're, they're still like they still have like uh, shell shock from the previous engagement man. They're, <laughs> they're freaking out They're like, please. We don't want to go back to battle man We just lost one of our own and you want to take us back into battle What kind of a leader are you? Ooh, I actually need some cats um at some point, but for that I'm gonna, I need fish, and for that I need a fishing rod. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of a lot of needs and a lot of needs. Ow! Bio! 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 Man, Rambo is not not as strong as. Man, what the hell? All right, guys, let us head all the way across to that giant ass tree to get a really decent view of the Nether Portal Temple. Um, I think, yeah, I think from, I think it's going to be good from this one, right? Yeah, this is, this is going to be good, man. Oh, God. Terra, I know I'm not supposed to be using you for this, but we didn't bring an axe because we're noobish. Because we're a noob. <laughs> what can you do, man? Oh, goodness, guys. You know what I do need to do before anything else? is fix the physics fail of the nether portal temple. Um, so that's, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Here, we need to add um, support structures over there. Right, let's have a look at what it looks like from up in here. Oh man, that is looking sweet. We can't quite see the lava towers um, from this angle, but I am r very th and thoroughly enjoying the, the way that the cathedral entrance looks. Let's try go to, to a different tree over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. That is looking sweet. And maybe what we want to do is get a view from the giant lava ball or so. Um, right. How many... I've only got 21 nether brick, which isn't going to be enough to fix the physics fail. 
Um, we, I, th I think that before we move on to the next project, we cannot leave that physics fail un unabated for, man. Because, you know, the OCD is going to kick in all over the world, man. Cyberdog is going to freak out. Um, people are going to get angry with my ass. And, uh, I prob and will probably threaten to shove something nasty within and with up my ass. <laughs> so let's deal with that freaking physics fail right away. Um, no, this is the wrong... This is the wrong place. Err... Uh, this one! Nether blocks. Okay, so, wow, we have very few blocks left. Um, we'll take what we can. We're gonna use nether bricks and nether stairs to make support pillars for the ass end of the nether portal temple that's hanging over the, the, the edge of that cliff there. Oh man, we gotta keep our eye out for creepers though, guys. Seriously, man, I, it was it's just ridiculous, like... Whenever you, you don't think creepers are going to spawn, suddenly 4,000 creepers spawn all around you. And in hard mode, um, you know, in, in hard difficulty, they're so freaking tough to kill. Um, you know, if you don't, if you, you have to try and get them with an arrow, a bow and arrow. If you don't get the, oh, it's an infected villager. Oh man, I wish I could heal you. Um, sorry, buddy. You, you ate fang. All right, so here is the first of the failures that we need to deal with. Um, let's see, this, this is gonna be tough, man. I think what we should do is maybe, what we should do is try and cover up the, the nether rack, because it kind of looks a bit, a bit ugly. So let's do that. But we have limited freaking nether rack to work with up in here though, man. Or nether brick, should I say. Bam! Alright, there we go. That's looking good. That's... What the hell? Dude! Can you not see that ar architecture is happening up in here, man? Damn! You wouldn't interrupt Leonardo da Vinci, would you? Wait, he wasn't an architect. Or was he? <laughs> History buffs? Let me know, man. No, Leonardo, Di 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 Leonardo DiCaprio? Leonardo da Vinci was a freaking inventor, man. He was an architect. Um, I can dig, I can dig. Can you dig arrow to the face? I think you can. Bam! Man, that was sweet. Took his ass out. This is where the, the major um, physics fail is right over here, man. Seriously. Oh god. Look at this. What the hell? Oh, it's raining. I thought it was I thought it was um something liquid liquid coming out of the soul sand, like some nether juice oozing out of the soul sand. That would be some nasty ass jazz. Um alright. So what I'm thinking, right, is eventually now I don't want to do it now, it's gonna take too long. Um Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it. What I was thinking, oh, we got some dirt out of that, which is good. <laughs> so we can use this. What I was thinking is maybe what we could do is just make a really basic pillar like this. Oh God, is that an enderman? No, that ain't right. That is an enderman, right? Is that a ghost? I hear a ghost. Right? Oh my god, has a ghost come through the portal? That can't be possible, right? Surely that's not possible. Oh god. Oh god. Panic is setting in. That's not good. If that is a ghast, this is not good times, people. We have got serious problems if that is a ghast. Um, right, so here we go, guys. That is the, the one support beam made. Bam! That looks good to me. Sweet. And what I'll do is um, clean all of this up eventually with more nether brickage. But I'm going to have to go get some more nether bricks. I think I've, I've run out of, out of supplies. I'm pretty sure that's a ghast. No, no, it's an Enderman, right? 
<laughs> I don't know, man. I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. All right, anyway. Um, so, one more support beam over here, I think. Just like this. No. This will be the middle of the support beam. Come on! Come on, support beam! No! Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, there. That's... No, what? <laughs> God damn it. Alright guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this off camera and I'm going to bring you back once it's done on the other side of this kaplooey, kaplooey. Alright guys, we are back. I've cheated a little bit, but <laughs> we ran out of nether bricks. So what, what are you going to do, man? But there we go. We have a, a temporary support beam going on up in here. Now, I just want to check in the, in the temple itself if there is a gasp. I thought I heard a gasp, but it could have been the sound of an enderman. Looks like it was an Enderman, or there would be a gas floating up in here, man. That would be pretty sweet, though, if there was. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, but guys, one of you guys gave me a really great suggestion um, in Dogmail number 10. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to watch it, but go check it out, man. Dogmail is a show where I read out emails that you guys send me from all over the world. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I had a really good Dogmail this week, um, man. And, and one of you cyberdogs suggested that the reason my spawner isn't spawning as much as it should be is because there could be a giant cavern underneath um, the, the nether portal temple. And what I need to do is come down here and light it all up. Um, and uh, th let's do that, man. Let's see if we can get the butthole to deliver a little bit better. Currently, the butthole is not delivering as well as I'd like. Um, and I do suspect there is a giant ass cavern under here. Um, where is another question? When uh, here we go, you see, whoever gave me that idea, I can't remember who it was. I think it was King Spark, Sparky or something like that. You, sir, are a genius. I do believe that there are um, other caverns like this. Oh, look at this! Look at all of this cavernous area messing with the spawn rates um, of our freaking nether portal t uh, of our mob spawner, man. Sweet. Okay, excellent. So this is all the way through to the other side. Let's see if there's anything in here. Um, I hear a spider! Oh god! Sweet man, we're getting more XP. <laughs> we might even hit level 30 in this episode, that'd be sweet! See if we can make another book. But I also get a, I gotta get a couple of you guys on the Dogolith, man. So, uh, we're definitely gonna gonna have to get to that ASAP because we are running out of freaking time so I tell you what guys I'm gonna spend uh, the next 30 minutes or so exploring underneath um, the nether portal temple for any caves that we may not have um, spotted and I'm gonna light them up to try and improve the um, the performance of the butthole but for now why don't we head over the to the dog oh here we go let's head over to the dog and the dog -a once we dispatch this noob and this noob Oh my goodness, look at this. This is like, this is like the catacombs beneath the nether portal temple. Oh man, this is actually pretty sweet. This, this is actually really sweet. Awesome. I didn't even realize that I'd made such a cool area. We, I wonder what we can do down here, man. Maybe we can make like a prison or something down here. This is pretty sweet. All right, so we've lit this up. Um, this should increase the spawn rates of the butthole now, which is which is great news. Here you can see little bits of the nether portal temple. Um, sweet! Oh, that is excellent. Hopefully that's going to improve um, the the uh, the efficiency of the butthole, man. Because seriously, my, the butthole has not been delivering recently, and I've been getting a little bit upset with it, actually. Um, I've been considering medication. <laughs> um, I've been considering going to the doctor to find out what is what the hell is ro wrong with the butthole but um, it looks like I've just solved one of the problems so that is sweet oh god and now we're trapped all right guys <laughs> I tell you what I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna completely myself out of here and when we come back I will be at the dogolith to get some of your buttholes onto the dogolith on the other side of this kaplooey kaplooey all right, welcome back, Cyber Dogs. We are at the Dogolith, to, ready to get some of you guys up here. And in the background, you can see the cathedral entrance looking pretty freaking sweet, if I do say so myself. Uh, we still need to finish the towers on this side, but uh, all in all, I'm very, very happy with how 
the entire nether portal temple project turned out and man i would love to get your feedback in the comment section below guys what do you think uh, about the new cathedral entrance do you think it's sweet do you think it's not sweet <laughs> and uh, and do you have any suggestions to perhaps improve it a little bit but guys let's get some of you on the dogolith i know i missed the entry from last week i mean or from last episode so i'm gonna put two uh, signs up today and the first comes from youtube subscribers um and they are number one z buscus one two three so is, is that some sort of a fusion between tabuscus and a zebra <laughs> well either way welcome to the dogolith my friend we've got tkl domo from youtube subscribers welcome to the dogolith domo my friend we've also got box wolf gaming welcome to the dogolith box wolf gaming and last but not least from youtube we've got wilder phil welcome to the dogolith phil uh, you have been immortalized forever on the interbubs and now guys from dogcraft.net and as a huge thank you to my amazing moderator team on dogcraft.net here are four um of the moderators from the cyberdog fan site dogcraft.net razor finally welcome to the dogolith my friend uh, i can't believe you're not on here already we've also got alte welcome to the dogolith and also nocturnal harlequin ah oh, oh. God damn it. It's not long enough. Um, I mean, it's not short enough. Well, you know who you are. Welcome to the Dogolith. And finally, but not leastly, we've got or Forks Pride. Welcome to the Dogolith from dogcraft.net. Guys, remember, if you want to get your asses onto the Dogolith, you've got to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel. And um, if you need to leave a constructive comment here and there. I randomly select them from YouTube. And um, there is a thread on dogcraft.net where you can go and put your YouTube username down. And I take dogcraft.net dogolith entries from that thread. Guys, this has been Ren Dog playing Minecraft Survival. If you enjoyed the episode, you hit that freaking like button before I get angry with the ass. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, I'm already angry with the ass. So you better freaking hit that subscribe button. I'm getting even more angry with the ass. And um, guys, we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, my friends. Goodbye.